Hi everyone, let me show you today an Amazon business report. It consists of the Google Sheet summary report and more detailed Data Studio report. We'll get to them later. Now let's let me show you quickly how everything is built on the back end. The client exports the data from Amazon in the format of CSV files to these two folders. There are two types of reports, so we have to we have two folders for them. One type of the CSV files and another type of the CSV files. After that, we use scripts to make from those raw files pro processed files, which we can use as the data source for the dashboard. After that, we also use scripts to gather all the data from those processed files into one database. Let me show you this, the most updated database. And here we have the data from all the files organized in a nice way to show, to show this on the dashboard and to analyze it. Don't worry about the privacy of the data because everything has been changed to random numbers. So the SKUs, the, the numbers, every, everything has been changed so I can show you uh, how this file looks. Here we have the large database and then again with the scripts this database moved has been moved to the Google Sheet with the report. Here it's called small database because here we show only the columns that are relevant for our report. So basically this file it's the same file as this one. So this I can close and let me show you the Google Sheet report itself. At the top we have filters for company because we have two companies we can select one or, the, or another and we can show the data for all the companies together and the same for the marketplace we have USA we have Canada and we have all the data so let's just show the all the data and let me quickly show you what we have on the report one section of the report it's growth to date and the second section is the total growth so growth to date we have section for year to date with sales gross profit net profit the gross profit margin and units sold then we have the same data for quarter to date then we have month to date also let me bring your attention that under each metric under each under each matrix we have the change from the previous period reflected in absolute amount like in number of units or in dollars and as the percentage that was built with the formulas and the second section the second section is the total growth we have growth by year we have growth by quarter, we have growth by month, and we have growth week over week. So these loan tables show us the total data that we have, all the date range. So the client can open this dashboard, this report every day and see their performance year over year, month over month, quarter over quarter or week over week. And we have more detailed report in the Google Data Studio. So as you can see, we also can select the company. We can select the date range for which we want to show, to show the data. And here we can see more detailed stats like sessions, page views, PPC spend, etc, etc. Also here we can filter by the SKU and see the daily data only for the selected SKUs. For example, let's select this, this and this. 
and now the data has been shown only for these three selected SKUs. So here is how the system works. If you have any question or want to build something similar, just let me know in the comments or in the contacts that are provided in the description of this video and let's get in touch. Thank you for the watching.